Welcome to the module on PowerPoint 2016, how to insert videos and basically any kind of media into your presentation. So at some point in your presentation, one of the most highest impacting things you can do to engage with your audience, whether it's to entertain or whether it's to inform or whether it's to persuade, is to insert multimedia of some sort. Now, let's say, for example, I was going to insert an introductory video into my financial overview sample, which is in your workbooks. The first thing you need to do is create a slide where you can insert this particular video. So I'm going to, on the home screen, just put in a blank slide with the design template. Once you've done that, you can go to the Insert tab. And on the very right hand side, you'll see there's an entire group called media. So over here, we've got video that we can insert, audio, where you can insert an audio file on your computer, or you can also record an audio file. So you can record a voiceover onto that particular slide, or you can actually choose to do a screen recording where it'll actually record your screen and you can show things, especially if it's to do with training, this is quite beneficial. In this case, what I'm going to do is insert a video that is on my PC. So over here, I will go to my files, and I am going to put in my, in this case, my auto training software video. Once you've inserted the video, you'll notice there is two new tabs that become available at the top of your screen when you click on the video. The one is Format and the one is Playback. So Format is not something you use very often, but if you did want it to give your video a particular shape with a nice border, maybe you wanted to change the coloring, you would then format it. The most important part of the video tools is the Playback option. Very importantly, you can choose to start the video on click or you can start the video automatically. So in other words, when I am going through the presentation with my audience, the minute I click to go to the next slide, do you want the video to play automatically or do you want it to go to the slide and only when I click does the video start to play? So that's quite an important one. If I'm running a training session, um, I usually will tell my video to start automatically and I will also tell the video to play full screen so that way you don't see the design template in the background. If this is an advertising kind of presentation where you will leave it running in the background while you engage and speak to people, you can also choose to loop the video or rewind after playing which is quite useful. So let's have a look at how our presentation looks with the video. So if I go to slideshow, there's other ways you can do this and we'll take you through that in another module. I'm going to choose from the beginning and you can see the shortcut for that is F5. So that is my financial overview. You will notice I had an audio file in there. The word itself isn't very dynamic or interesting. Yet neither is the work. And you will see my video and audio file played absolutely fine. Let me push escape on the keyboard to get out of that mode. And here is a particular audio file that I put in as well at the beginning of the presentation, which will also start to play automatically. So you can put in audio files or video files to enhance your presentation.